Step number six is all about durations. Like in step number five, I talked about the level of detail. An ideal activity should be between, be between two days and 12 days. We don't want to have any activities that are in excess of 20 days except for pre-construction activities such as long lead items, submittals, those type of activities. But as far as construction activities, we want to have between two days and 12 days. Now, you're going to have some one-day activities in there. You're going to have some zero-day activities in there, say, like NTP here. Um, those are okay, but the vast majority, and I always say 95% of all your activities, need to be between that 2 and 12 day. Um, so say if you have an activity that lasts, you know, 40 days. How do you break that 40 day activity up? And simply by identifying, by scope, you could say, um, you know, erect, uh, you know, uh, concrete masonry wall. Uh, you know, north side and west side, so worth 50% of it, and have another one, uh, the south side and east side. So we need to figure out how we can break it down in order to get the scope of work to fit in that 2 to 12 day model. Um, 20 days is a long time, that's one month, usually much longer than we want. So 2 to 12 days is a good, um, you know, good rule of thumb. Uh, simply what we have to do once we identify all the t all the tasks is we we just drop in under duration uh, how many days it is design 10 you know um, submittals concrete you know 14 days so we're gonna go ahead and do all the individual durations one of my biggest pet peeves are is when something is a one-day activity say you know um, final inspection maybe it may be one day but they'll leave the question mark there and what the question mark means it means an estimate so what we want to do is we want to get even though it says one day we still want to hit one and hit enter and it gets rid of that question mark we should never have any question marks um, at the top at the at the project level project level summary task because if we do we know we have a question mark somewhere down here um, why is that important um, once again, you know, we want to make sure people don't, when they look at a schedule, we want to make present it in the best way possible so they don't dig deeper. Um, so we're going to go through and make sure all the activities are actually entered in, all the durations are entered in, entered in each individual activity. So a duration simply is defined as a group of people working on a task. How many days is it going to take them to do? Now that group of people could be 10 people. And that's what um, you know we can we can discuss further. So um, I also like to call this step the mandate step. So if we insert a column here, insert a column, and we can insert it simply as a, uh, a duration one, okay. And then if we right click and we go. Uh, um, field settings we can change the name from duration to mandates now what is mandates mandates is simply you know the number of people that can be working on a task so if you have design you have two people working two designers working on the design for 10 days it would be 20 mandates as we have discussed before the number uh, the number two ways that you can be be uh, you could fail as a general contractor is not getting people to show up for work that's the duration day and not in getting them to bring enough people which is a man day so we we want to have the metrics of duration and man days identified within our schedule submittal for concrete say we have 14 and say we only have one person working on it it'd be 14 days but you know something like rough grade uh, rough grade could be 10 days, but we have five people working on it, so it'd be 50 man days. So very important um, to uh, you know have the, both the, this information in. What I will say is um, you can see here that we have all the information we're putting in here, but it's not rolling that information up. So what I do is go ahead and right click on the column, go customize field. And I want to roll up the calculations, and I want to make it sum. And what that what that'll do, roll up and sum, 
it'll roll all that information up and add it together. So important to be able to do that. You don't have to do that for the duration column because it automatically, this shows the critical path duration, okay? Not the sum of duration. Mandates, on the other hand, is we're rolling the information up and summing it, so we're going to get the sum of duration days. Um, so big difference between duration and mandates. This is the critical path. This is the sum of duration. Um, so, excuse me, sum of mandates. So that pretty much covers uh, adding duration in, adding mandates in, Very two very, very important pieces. And that is step number six. Thank you.